Good afternoon from Suzhou, China. There's the beautiful Suzhou Olympic Sports Center. It's Championship Sunday at the first leg of the Curling World Cup. There's a lot on the line today. Prize money, ranking points, direct qualification to the grand final next May in Beijing. But there's also something a little special as well, the right to call yourself the first ever gold medalists of the women's event at a Curling World Cup leg. It's time for the women's final, and it looks like a great one. It's Canada's Rachel Homan taking on Olympic champion Anna Hasselborg of Sweden. Looking inside the venue now as the teams make their way onto the playing surface for what promises to be an outstanding final. Let's meet the players. First from Team Canada, John Adler. Lisa Weagle. Joanne Courtney. Emma Miskew. And Rachel Holman. And now for Team Sweden, Sophia Maubert, Agnes Nokwenhauer, Sarah McManus, and Anna Hasselborg. Games will begin in one minute. Practice slides may be taken. Good luck. Good curling. Good curling. Good curling. There are our teams getting ready for this women's final here in Suzhou. Here's how they got here. Sweden and Canada both qualified through the double round robin phase, both on level five and one records, both with 15 World Cup points. That's how they got here. Canada gets the hammer in the first end by virtue of the third tie break, which is overall world ranking. So dead even, five and one, nothing to pick between them in the double round robin. How's it going to go in the final? This is the first leg of a four leg curling World Cup. Earlier today, Kirk Myers and Laura Walker of Canada won the mixed doubles final. Now it's time for the women's final. Later today, the men's final between Canada and Norway. Winners here qualify directly for the grand final next May in Beijing. Teams making the end plans for the first end. I'm Hans Fraunlob. I'm joined by Olympic oh, yeah. champion Rona Howey. And good afternoon to you, Rona. Good afternoon. Here are the rules of play. Five rock-free guard zone. Eight ends of play. No extra ends. If they're tied, it will be a single stone shootout to break it. Thinking time is per end, and there are no timeouts. But we'll see through the game that the teams can talk to their coaching bench between ends. Sophia Mabergs gets us underway in this women's final. Willing it to stop, but it does come into the ring. No protection from the free guard zone. Down normal. Okay, the straighter side. Yep. Lisa Weagle. Free no. player for Canada. Go quiet. Yeah, then. Yep, down normal. Whoa. Nose hit. Is in the free guard zone. Can thank you for that, Doxa. Yeah, did it. Okay. Where we are more here, or? Ah, a little bit. What's the difference between the free guard and the little? Hold it a little. Yep. Yep. Linie, da. Linie. Four. In addition to this first curling World Cup final, 
Also some memories from the Pyeongchang Olympics. Rachel Holman represented Canada at those Olympics. Anna Hasselblad okay. was the gold medalist so there. So Eleven, either one. These teams know each other well. They do, they've played each other a lot this over the years. Swept. Lovely shot. Sorry. It's okay. I was trying to tell her to wait. So. It is back T. Gives Sweden something to freeze on here. Let's watch how much this finishes. Just behind the guard. Little inside roll too. Nice shot. Stone, first up for Agnes. Taking on the T line in front of the Canadian counter. Back eight. You also split the top on. Yep. Back eight, top's fine. Yep. I think, back eight. I think it's up to speed in this line. Yep. Back eight. Joanne Courtney. Canada. Yep, just looking to try and tap the guys. Swedish counter back. Really gotta go. Sit in front of it. Hard up, hard up. Nine ten. Keep going for the split. Keep going. What's your foot? Tight line. Sorry. Rubs the guard. Let's split them both into the house. Yep. We heard them talking about that as an option, and that's a nice result for Joanne. Canada's yeah, got the hammer here in okay. the first. And the stones are accumulating. Yeah. Big weight. Got one, pushes the other. Is it off the rings? Yes, it is. Nice shot. Agnes Schuckenhauer. Start. They're on it immediately. Yep, keep going. Hard for peace. A little soft with a release on that one. Over curls. Rolls away. Let's have another look. Analyze this for us, Rona. Yep, yep. yep, yep, yep. Just done that. In turn, she just started it and. Uh, it started curling straight away, so the sweepers tried to hold it as long as they could. They did get a piece, and they removed one of the sweeter stones anyways. Perfect. Sarah McManus. Three quarters high. Okay. Up normal. And was really trying to hold the yeah. line there, but you can see the angles. Bit of risk of losing the stone behind, but no risk of a direct jam for Emma Miscu. Good. Clean. 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 Yep. Whoa. Yep. 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 
close okay, the back. Okay. Spill. And Rona, it's worth reminding ourselves, you know, this international team's top flight event. This is the very beginning of the season, the competitive season for both of these teams, but they've both worked really hard in the summer. You've spoken with both teams over the course of the week. Yeah, they have. It's very early in the season to have a big international event, so they had to prepare a lot earlier than they normally would. Yep. tracking a bit. It does stick around. Nice shot there from Miss Q. Nice shooting. Just the one stone in the rings. It's shaping up like a potential blank. In many countries used to just have ice through the winter season, uh, but now more and more are having ice available throughout the summer. So that teams can train. That's true. In the northern hemisphere, the ice used to go in in kind of mid September and you get going, but now it's almost a 12 month thing. It is. Anna Hasselborg, Olympic champion. That feels like Rona. Okay, Olympic uh, champion yourself. Many minutes ago. Yeah, I think so. You guys through the wing. How did that change your perspective? What do you think that's done for Anna? I've seen reports that uh, they don't quite know how to feel after winning that medal, that it's uh, magnificent, but they feel a little bit lost. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think Once it's very difficult play. because, yeah, uh, you know, you curl year in, year out, you play Europeans and World Championships and, you know, even success there, it, it's great for you and you, your sport, but it's for your nation. It's the publicity that an Olympic Games gets and all the media coverage and it really suddenly curling. just makes you public property. <laughs> Six, seven. Is Rachel Holman yeah. going into the rings. Gotta be seven. Well, the country of Sweden is certainly very yep, proud yep, of this. Yep, 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 yep. And the rink, there's whoa, no doubt whoa. about that. Well, that's using all the rings. Sorry. <laughs> and then some. <laughs> <laughs> Smile from Rachel. Yeah, that's on. Yeah, yeah, it's still in. It's in the 14 foot. And that's where the growth of the sport now through the Olympic Games has just been phenomenal. Of course, and us being here in Suzhou and China being a real testament to that growth of the sport in Asia, China, the host of the next Winter Olympics. I really. So you're right, the Olympics changed everything in the sport of curling. Anna Hasselbaum. Nice shot. Had to go right out to the wing to make it. No problem. I heard Rachel saying Anna Hasselbaum's first stone here. Just bigger way that ran fairly straight. Yeah. Holman will be trying to blank. Straight through. Keep the hammer to the second end. Yeah. Yeah. Steely gaze of Rachel Holman. Zeroing in, trying to make the blank. Clean. 
No problem there, makes it perfect. Canada blanks the first. We're underway in this women's final at the right. Curling World Cup after one, no score. Maybe I'll just take your four. One sheet of action here at the Suzhou Olympic Sports Center. It is the women's final of the first leg of the first ever Curling World Cup. Glad you're with us. Next stop. Curling World Cup will be in the U.S. Corner, corner. Be in Omaha, Nebraska, in December. <laughs> yeah, this yep. Third stop will be in Sweden. Yanchiping. The teams that qualify and the member associations that have built up enough ranking Sweet. points to make the field of eight will advance to the grand final in Beijing. Right, That'll be next May. The four-leg go. Curling World Cup. Working as far as they can. They don't want the corner guards too long because of the big swing on the ice. It's very easy to come round the longer guards, so they want them closer to the rings. Sophia Mabergs. And one of the big road differences here has been the time per end of thinking rather than per game. And the players all seem to have really enjoyed it. Yeah, they've adjusted quickly. Mobbergs, this one's going to overcurl and sit in front of the center guard. Yeah, stacked right up. But you're right, Rono, and we looked at the different rules that are being used for Curling World Cup. We thought which ones are the players going to adjust too easily and which ones might they have some difficulty with, and we thought end base timing might be the one that caused some problems, but you're right, the players have adjusted to it quickly. As well, because if they run out of time, they don't forfeit the game. That's it's just that end. Their opposition can either choose to take two or finish out the end. Working this one hard to wrap it around the center guards. Great brushing. Can they get a piece? Yes, they do. Big sweep. <laughs> Big sweep from Courtney and Miskew. Looks like pretty good out of her hand, I thought. Over there. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Joanne, for that one. Yeah, Anna Hasselberg was looking at coming round on the out turn, round the long red guard, but they're saying there's a better finish with this hand, so they can try and bury this way. There's no Kinhara. Try to make this in turn come around. Lots of room, but all week we've seen big late finish. Nice wait. Didn't quite get the cover they were looking for, though. It's available for Canada. Yeah, they were really trying to drag it to cover Courtney. the inside edge. Make sure okay. I'm bored here. Yeah. Joanne Courtney. Still recovering a bit after that coast to coast okay, sweep really on the last yeah. one. She doesn't mind. For my money, maybe the strongest sweeper in the women's game. Delicate shot there from Joanne Courtney. Yeah, it was hot. Good job. Good enough. Not the tiniest of inside rolls. Is that the way? Emma Miskew and Lisa Weagle this time on the brushes. Watch this. A little inside flop. Nice shot. <laughs> covers the inside edge. Yeah, just looking at the drag effect here to see whether you can get some reds out of play by raising their own. 
We saw that great double take out that knocking Hauer through in the first end, so we know she can throw it hard. Action on that stone in the rings as well. Still behind the guards. Yeah, She can throw it hard and accurate. Gets action, clips the stone at the top of the forefoot. A little unlucky not to push it into the open. Nice shot. Top 12 is great. Looking to get a second counter no, in no, and also block the way in for Sweden to the shot. Yep, you can go now. Let's go hard. Three. Important shot three, here. Four. Kennedy's got hammer. Mine's really good. You're really well mine. Can really set up a deuce or a three finish, if they can finish, sink one here. Good job. Nice shooting. Canada lies two. Yeah. Good off that. Good off immediately saying, got to get rid of some guards. Sarah McManus. One, two. Almost gets some action on the shots in the rings, but opens it up. Nice shot. Nice double clear there by Sarah. Stuff. I don't think it'll be quite as yeah, slow. ideally she wanted the bat yellow to take one of the Sam, reds out of the house, but uh, has it's it up opened things up anyway. Has left a corner Whatever guard like for Canada okay. to use. <laughs> so the two is definitely still on for Canada. And a miscue. Looks like and this one is moving. Is it going to stay in the rings? Courtney and Weagle back right off. Yep, yep. Well, now it comes to a halt in a hurry. Yeah, the brakes come on that one <laughs> really quickly. <laughs> Throw out the shoot. <laughs> man is lining him up. Off right away. Whoa. She thinks yeah. she's wide. Whoa. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. Across the top and leaves the Canadian stone in the rings. Oh. Great yeah. chance now for Canada. Real opportunity Aye. now. Aye. Hear it in Sarah's voice right out of hand. <laughs> Didn't no. throw it oh. great. It's heavy and we might have that rock, so. Okay. Needed to hit the top one thicker. Just glancing the stone in the back four. Extra. Six. Well done. For everything. Well done. Keep a broom on it. Please. No, no, no. Six. Five. Switch, no, switch. No, no, no. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Pocket here. No, no, no. Eight. Just go back to all. I think we are. Stay with it. The stone coming to rest just past the T line. Yes. Nolan Thiessen, Pei Lindholm, they know each other well. Not a lot of inside. conversation between them. They're pretty um, focused on I what's like happening on the ice. Pei Lindholm, yeah. three-time world champion. Swedish high-performance curling program, and Nolan Thiessen, likewise, working in the Canadian program. Both excellent athletes. Into the coaching ranks. So although that Canadian stone went further back than they had wanted, 
Bara så att man har råd med en row. egen liten. Yeah. Åtta andra idag. Den naturligaste dubben är att spela vicken på den som ligger längst ut. Jag har aldrig ett spot. Det är för frostigt. Så vicken in och försöker rulla upp lite av en sida, eller? Ja, åtta bara. Och försöker lite till för Anna Hasselborg. Men kan vi komma in skott? Det är att man skulle tjappa den stenen så att man får höjd. Jag spelar. Jag Flop over hey. on top of the other red. Just catch it on the nose. Kind of a line too. Looks to me like I Rachel Holman is just going to draw right on top of that okay. stone that yeah, Anna Hasselborg just delivered, Rona. Yeah, so ideal? just draw and half check it. Right I kept mine there, I think. Line Pardon? three. I kept it on the line. Yeah, I gave, means, um, I gave me an inch more Anna than you. can't roll off it. Because she would jam. So then it's a big uh, call for Anna. She can't lift a double in okay. the reds. Well, so yeah. Mine was there on its own. Case extension. You really have to gamble. You could freeze one of the stones behind the tee line, but if you don't make that, maybe you're dropping four. Rachel Holman. Like the way you pronounce the line. Make sure. We're there. Here really it comes. Crawling. Yes, yes, yes. Hardly. Hardly. Oh, oh. Did it over curl? I think it did. It did. Great Just oh. got away from him a little bit on the line. Rachel will be disappointed. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that's oh. one bullet so dodged for Sweden. Yeah, but it's important yeah. for Anna to keep her shooter in play here. Yeah. Yeah, she must stick around. I think we can go a little straight there, Sara. I think we can win there. Is it chappen, or? Yeah. Put it in Nice shot. So it's an open hit for two for Rachel Homan. She'll be disappointed this isn't a shot for three, but on reflection at the beginning of the end, she would have asked her, I'll give you two now. Is that okay? She probably would have said yes. Same ice. Okay. Gradual curl here. Yeah. Are you trying? She was soft on hers and okay. it didn't do anything crazy. So Straight through, down normal. Okay. We can roll ours. Okay. On the nose, two points for Canada. Nose hit for a pair by Rachel Holman, and they break out first. After two ends of play, it's Canada two and Sweden no score. Rachel Holman of Canada gets it underway in the third end. Two, three. Looks fair. Three. Room, Joe. Yep. Don't let it die. Don't let it die. Yeah. So I gotta come on this side. Pretty close. Oh, okay. Good. Oh, she asked for a close guard, and that's I certainly what she got. Tough to oh, stack one okay. behind that one. Sophia Moberts. There's been such a rich tradition. Uh, 
High quality women's teams from Sweden, and it seemed like the Anna's team, Team Hasselborg, just sort of appeared suddenly you know, on the curling scene, and all of a sudden they're right at the top of the world. But that's a long history of great women's curling teams from Sweden. There certainly is, and Anna was very successful in juniors, in world juniors, and uh, as you say, was in the shadow of very successful yeah. ladies teams. Five, six. Elizabeth Gustafsson, six, Annette Norberg, oh. yeah, Maria seven. Pritz and Siegfrieden. So there's been so many strong teams. And it's great to have that level of competition in your own country. Absolutely. You know, and uh, that's what some countries are missing. They've maybe got one, maybe two top teams and that's it. So they have to travel, they have to go internationally to gain that experience. Lisa Weagle sliding one through the ring, so a chance here for Sweden to get something going. Yeah, it's not just that competition, but it's almost that expectation that builds in as well, isn't it? It's just oh, women's curling. And a standard to maintain, and <laughs> this team is carrying on that fine tradition. Well, Miss Stone in the free guard zone. Is it going to come back? Yes, it will. So yeah. Back to back mistakes from these teams. Knocking a rock in the free guard zone out of play, and that's why it's yeah. replaced. Five rock free guard zone at Curling World Cup and in all World Curling Federation events. Gets a little tickle redirect off the corner guard and maybe snakes a corner behind the front. Not quite. Team Rachel Homan, they've got happy memories of China. They won their world championship in Beijing. about Sweden, they've got a really good uh, system in place with their young academy, which really, you know, brings on the youngsters and has a good pool of players in that. Two Canadian stones just yeah, short of the rings. This row. Very raceable. So initially they were going to draw around the red counters. But change your mind to guard, put another corner guard up. What do you think of that choice? Yeah, it's early enough in the end. I'm trying to force a mistake from Canada. Because if they draw perfectly round the centre and Canada play the straight run back, then Sweden are in trouble. It's also a situation of knowing what your opponents can do as well. And House of Ward knows that. Run backs and big weight hits, that's uh, bread and butter for Team Rachel Holman. So we do elect to protect the one on the it's corner. Okay, quarter. And a miscue. Canadian third lining it up, aiming it 
That brush held by Rachel Holman. Yeah, 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 from go. Ottawa. Whoa, the nation's capital in Canada. It's a little bit of action. Get Squirts in. one of them on the rings. Nice shot. There's Emma. So now with the staggered angle on the two Canadian stones, if Sweden come round, the raise isn't so easy. You'd have to use the outside red. Yeah. And Hasselborg saw that overlap immediately, so she's asking Sarah McManus to duck around those two stones that are staggered on the center line now. Got a lot of curling to do. Yeah, tons of room, said Anna, and look how easily it clears the guards. It's going to go deep. Now they get cover, but it's back eight foot. Do you want to come around? Yeah, unfortunately, it allows Canada to draw in now, and uh, that kills the end that they were building up to score two. Sweden does have the hammer here in the third. And a miscue. According to the sweepers, they think this one's heavy as well. Only Lisa. We're two over tapping. We're not on it yet. Maybe a slightly faster path down that side. Seems so. This one slides to the back eight foot. Canada does lie on one. Ball. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think out of my hand? Oh, five, six. Yeah, yeah. Good enough. It's that just, does they're not moving and they yeah. just like speed up. Neutralize the deuce or the three anyways. Yes. Sarah McManus. The winner of this women's final here in Suzhou. Not only claims the gold medal for this leg, but also directly qualifies for the Curling World Cup Grand Final in Beijing. Prize money doubled in the final leg, so they all want to be there. Nice shot. Yeah. 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 It feels like it's um, looking it's over her work. Yeah. Like if you throw, do you want the same? Like we're getting there. Okay, a little more. Um, it just feels a couple feet better. So three draws in a row, sliding deep. Rachel Holman asking the extra question about the weight. What's the idea? Uh, buried. If it's heavy, freeze it in the forefoot. I've been throwing in like crazy curl and stopping, so. Yeah, I think that's close. Four yeah. feet less? Yeah. yeah. Keep your extension on reach. Line tight, where? Six, four line! Hard line, says Emma Miskew. They're worried about the line. As it's going to crash those guards. Heard that right out of hand. Emma Miskew immediately calling for sweep. Little chance here for Anna Hasselborg. She can get one around the pile. Yeah, stone positioning here is really important for Anna because there is that inside roll from the yellow on the right hand side for Canada. Run back as well. So this stone positioning is really important. So there you are holding the broom with Sarah McManus as Anna Hasselborg. Prepares to throw. Has to take this one out really wide to the edge of the sheet to make this one. Takes her into some 
fresh ice, the sweepers are going to have to be aware of that. Hopefully a redirect off their own stone. They're looking for that feather. They're looking for the inside roll. They get a bit of them. They are lying too. I'm not sure they got under cover though. Good job, Sensei. I'm 90 for now. Oh, I felt good. I sat there as I wanted. Just finished. Took more ice and got a straight, straighter result than they had thought. You guys need to throw it better, eh? Here. Just keep it there a bit. Same weight. They are hiding a corner and looking in that brush positioning. Is Holman going to try the draw again? Just try to draw around inside. Is that the play? Yeah. Even if you choke it off, it's not awful. Yep, even Sorry. if she's in for second shot. In top eight, it's not bad. They have to go wide in turn. Okay. But the draw's there. If she just skims past the guard, she'll get to the inside of the, the yellow. Draw the forefoot. Sweden already lying too. Tough, tough shot here for Rachel Holm. Six more. Room. Wait on me. Well, well, seven, eight, seven. Oh, 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 wait on me. Oh, you can't. Seven, eight. Well, tapping. Yeah. Line right. looks pretty good. Yes, yes. Four. So makes a sudden move. Four. Are they by? Yes, they are. Great shot by Rachel Holman. Outstanding. Great line read by Emma Miskew. And a perfect shot by Rachel Holman. Yeah, because they were going for the draw. And uh, just with that ounce of running, they managed to hold it and get the inside. Fantastic shot. So just 50 seconds left for Sweden. We need to watch the time clock. And the base timing, you can see the time clock to the left hand side of the screen, 42 and counting. If they don't throw before the time runs to zero, there's the clock. What would happen is Canada would get two points. Borde finnas curl there, Sara? Va? Du borde curl there! Magnus Knockenhauer keeping a close eye on the clock. Oh, last Five seconds. Wow. Big weight here from Hasselbord. Oh no, a disaster. It's a single point, almost pushed the Canadian stone in for two, but it is a steal of one for Canada. What a turnaround on that fantastic shot by Rachel Holman. Hasselborg can't make the run back clear. A steal for Canada. Let's have another look. It's a steal for Canada. Holman having a word with Coach Nolan Thiessen, as they are allowed to do between ends. Nolan's just asking her about the line on her first shot. Real tight, guys. Rachel just saying, oh, it was just inside. Switch. The innovations here in Curling World Cup. No timeout, so the coaches can't come onto the ice, but she can talk to the coaches between ends. A turnaround, Rona, in that third end. It was just one stone made the difference. The Sweden are looking good to build up a two. And Rachel Holman, fantastic down weight. Hit and roll. Turn the end around. Corner guard up here for Sweden. Quite important, Rona, I think, that they score in this end. Trailing by three. So they can get a pair here. Get to the midpoint. Regroup. 
down one. Yep, keep themselves in the game. Five rock rules, so get the opportunity to get a couple of corner guards up here. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. There's Coach Paya Lindholm looking on. Paya, he's quite a guy. He's running the Swedish curling program. He still runs marathons well, just for fun. <laughs> in his spare time. In his spare time. <laughs> when he's yes, not okay. sitting on a bench. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is going to be an interesting one, folks. Two corner guards up. Two Canadian stones in the rings. Game on. Top four. Little light's okay. Don't want to be deep. Five rock free guard zone, so no clearing shot here for Joanne Courtney. Championship Body Sunday M, here hard, in M, hard. Suzhou at the Five, Curling World hard, Cup. Hard. Three finals today. Hard, mixed doubles, on, it. women's and men's. Kiss. <laughs> Canada lies three. Yeah. Canadian teams in all three disciplines in the final. Canada winning the mixed doubles final earlier today. Kirk Myers and Laura Walker defeating Corey Dropkin and Sarah Anderson of the USA. Yeah. Later yeah. today it will be the men's final, and that will feature Kevin Cooey of Canada taking on Stefan Wallstad of Norway, and that should be a good one as well. Yeah. And company have been very impressive this week. Yeah, there's been some high quality curling for this early in the season. <laughs> you have to kind of remind yourself this is the first event of the year that's playing so well. Bumps the Canadian stone about a foot, sits in front of it. Yeah, hoping to draw a wee bit more. That's the inside of that Even if you get three quarters, it goes. Two thirds! Let's create a little escape hatch to the back and to the right as we're looking at it. Punch that stone through. Courtney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hard. Oh. Big weight. Pounds it. Kills yeah, the back yeah, stone. Yeah. Rolls in front of Sorry. her own. Nice shot. It's okay. It's tough to bury there. Almost impossible. Yeah. Yeah. Just thought I was just catching them. Later. Yeah, I agree. Like, I'm not trying to. I saw, like, a... It wasn't that bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's not much to do, it's better for us. Oh, exactly. Oh. Miss Nuckenhauer being asked to hit the front of those two stones. Anna Hasselborg really wants the roll behind the corner guard. She knows she's going to jam, but really wants the roll. She's down to her weight a wee bit, and this is really pulling. It's over curling. Uh, sorry. Oh, ten. Oh, yeah, sorry. Would you rather take this? Oh, uh, no, out turn's fine. Okay. I think yeah. it'll move an inch. Yep, just okay. easy peel. Three up, Canada saying, let's get rid of the corner guards. And the miscue. Yep. Yep. Hard! 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 Let's get some action on the other one. Nice yeah. shot. Nice seat. Thanks. She's carrying it. Hold it. Oh, that's been a new half in seven. I like it. I don't have to worry about it. 
Throw into the attire. Okay. It's a slightly straighter side, so. I'm going to discuss what weight. Playing this takeout. We really want to roll. Yeah. And cover. Tio! Quite get it. Sitting on the center line in the open. Control. It's gradual straight. Okay, take your snapshot, Joe. Yeah. Easy control, Eden. Yes. Eight end games. We're at curling World Cup. Bills to the wing, sticks around, Canada lies three. Ooh. So the force is on. Sorry. A little careful Sweden and light. Generate I, I something here to get a pair. Yeah. Seems to be electing to hit the roll, but Rona, maybe the draw is the oh, shot here. Oh, oh. Yeah, they could have drawn around the corner cover. Because all the Canadian counters are just 12 foot. But maybe the hit and roll is going to be the best option. They do get some cover behind that Canadian stone. Bra skippat Anna. Ja, det är väl bara den kompost ute. Bra skippat Anna. Det är samma. Det är väl för Sweden det är väl så lite det måste vara men vad mycket att all will take the yellow out. Jag vet inte att det skulle vara kvar. Så look at that roll. Mr. Rest right behind that red Canadian stone so. How's this going to run? Rachel Holman. to run that corner guard on the red. Straight through, she over said. Here. Yellow onto red onto yellow. And that's the flight plan for Canada. Line two and nothing really going here for Hasselborg. Can we game both? Yeah, you love the draw. So, Alex, the Hasselborg have a look at that. Topstone, it's hard to be game both. You love it then. Oh, my intro draw this. We get you don't draw heat, Alex. Oh, yeah. There's probably a raised split on that top yellow stone, but that doesn't help. Them. Talked about the draw. But are they lining up the hit and roll, Rona? What's the call? Yeah, want to hit off this red stone, roll behind the cover that's there. Nice. Hassle board. Trying to generate something here. But again, the way that Rachel's hit those stones, the straight raise is there for her to use again if Anna does roll behind. Yeah. For Hasselborg to get protection, she can't roll completely behind those guards. She would have to show Rachel home in a corner. Otherwise, you're right, Rona. Double raise. This is pulling more than they thought. Oh, it's going to roll all the way across the house. Is it going to stay in the rings? Is it going to stay in the rings? Ooh, Ooh just. I think so. <laughs> Tilt my head 90 degrees to take another look. I think that one at the back might be on. Oh, oh yes. yeah. Almost on the orange part of the Curling World Cup logo. Misty doing everything she could to get that stone out of the ring, but it spun and hung on. Stick it. So 
Yeah. So Rachel's more than happy here to force one, so just hit and run. Yeah, she will have to stay on the rings, though, won't yeah. she? Because she spills. You know, I, wouldn't, I wonder if Anna would have a go at that uh, race split for two. I mean, Rachel could just draw T-line at the other side and lie too. That's true. Just playing the hit. being asked to really work hard to hold the line. Sorry. It does spill. Well, let's see what they're going to do. They're taking a look at it. Yeah, it's catch enough on the inside for the shooter to roll in. But not thin enough that it off the red and goes out the rings. So it's precision shot here. You need to hit it about three quarters on the inside to make it. You need to hit it thick enough to keep the target stone not squirting off the 12 foot and thin enough to roll your own shooter onto the rings. But it's there. Yeah, I'm still surprised Rachel just didn't draw T line on the other side. Me too. Sucks that that one's Because even if she had nosed the back one, Anna could still get two counters in here to out count that one. Here we go. Anna Hasselbord trying a raised split. Not laying a brush to it yet. That's to Carl. Okay. Got the raise, but didn't get the split. Single point for Sweden. Needed to hit that one a little bit thinner to get the two. They gave it a try, but it's a single point for Anna Hasselbord. Sweden is on the board, but Canada leads it by two at the midpoint. Here we see we needed to hit about three quarters on the inside. Just got it on nose. Single point for Sweden. 3-1 Canada at the halfway point. I think to know the line, they'll throw you on on that line. Because you guys, you guys have the sheet all mapped out. You know the sheet, yeah, so yeah. you're good. Okay. All right. I just said, all well, the girls, I said, you got an extra 15 seconds, Fran. I said, you got the sheet mapped out. Just make sure you know the throw for your line. You guys will be good. Yeah. They're just going to keep a broom down coming home, too, just because it yeah. just doesn't quite get there the way that going away does. Even the, even the swingy Wait, throw on the outturn yeah. gets there pretty easy, right? Yeah. I think sweeping her two rocks are going to be a little different. So that one that hit him spot. got more curl than everyone's down there. Yeah. And it was a great drop. Yeah, and then everyone like couldn't bury. Crash the guard, crash the guard. Yeah. So we'll try to go top four, top eight guard now? Yeah. We'll oh, no, we're, we're no, corner. You got hammer. Yeah. Oh, they should be score. They should be score. Um, the yeah, blank's okay. Uh, they're not going to let us blank score. Uh, they're going to yeah. They'll probably go double centers, but yeah. Yeah. just make her two good and put the heat on them to, to try to have. The first one of the wings can be really tight. Oh, okay. yeah. Take it away, like girls. Sorry. We'll see the line. We'll go in from the, like, to the wing and then go into this wing. is So that wing seems really quick too, right? Yeah, everyone pumped it through. Here are the stats halfway. The Canadians playing really well. 86% as a team, 93% on their hits. And the one stolen point, that's the difference in the game. Canada leading it 3-1 to one at the halfway point. China at the first ever Curling World Cup. Hans Brown here with you and joined by Rona Howie. 
Verona, first half of the game. Canadians solidly in control. Yeah, they are at the moment. <laughs> Things can change. <laughs> With this five-out rule, anything can happen. We heard the teams at the halfway break talking about just that. It's five rock free guard zone situation and how the stones are likely to stack up here in the fifth. Back eight. Back eight. Yep, just some half shots from Sweden in the first half that gave that advantage to Canada. Yep, yes, yep. Really four good. ends to go and there's a lot can happen yeah. in four ends. Two right. Just a just a draw. We're ten We're through. Through. Uh, just Tight and heavy. This one may slide into the rings. Lisa Weagle trying to weagle. Doesn't get contact oh, on the yeah, center guard and goes out of play. Yeah. Awesome. I fucked up the pick. I didn't get out. Sorry. Sophia Mavrix. So stone yeah. positioning. Pretty yeah. crucial yeah. here for uh, yeah. the weak yeah. players. Yeah. Don't want to leave. Yeah. An easier Nara, double peel. So want some distance. But with our first guard kind of being halfway, it's very difficult. You've then got to go around it and still be short. Well, she's done just that. Nice job. Good job. Lisa Wiggle. Maybe lead player. Top eight only. Line's good. Four, Line's good. Line's really good. Five, six, it's curling, yep. It's really yep. curling. Five, six. Got to go line. Hard line. There. Six, oh. seven. Hard line. This one's really moving. Keep on it, keep on it. Got to hit it high. the top one, but are they by the second one? I don't think so. Just pushes the Swedish Wait, stone onto the rings. Yeah. Watch how much this finishes. Not quite 45 degree angle, but boy, it finishes hard. Good chance here for Sweden. They've got those center guards stacked now for Agnes Nukihar. 84% for the first half for Agnes. Yeah, just a bit of a wider line, but you saw how much Lisa Weagles came there and just from Hulk to Hose. You take that fraction more ice and it takes a lot longer to come, as you see here. This one's just staying out a wee bit. It's a piece of the button right on the T-line, perfect weight. Corner hidden. Canada can now do some damage at the front. Yes. And then Courtney oh. bombs away, trying to clear guards. There's one. No action on the stones behind. Canada with the hammer, two up here in the fifth end of this eight end game. It's the women's final. Men's final coming later on today, and that will round it up here at the Suzhou Stop Curling World Cup. It's about 100 kilometers inland from Shanghai. It's certainly not a winter sport destination, but boy, have they made an effort here to uh, promote and encourage the sport of curling in and around this Curling World Cup. Two thirds. Yeah, the event's been absolutely fantastic. At least moves it over. From the venue, the ice, the hotel, all the volunteers who are everywhere wanting to help. Somebody next door, there's. Nice rings set up for yep. curling for Whoa. the locals yeah, to try yeah. the sport. It's really, hard. It's really good. There's a double clear. One less guard in the front. Two guard now. Yeah, yeah. Really hard. Oh. 
Got to keep moving when Joanne Courtney's throwing them. Yeah. Fast footwork. Sarah McManus. 88% oh, the position for Sweden. Yep. It's been a great event because the men's discipline, women's and mixed doubles all playing in the one event, in one competition. It's been really, really good for all players involved. Sure has. In the double round robin phase, for some draws we had all three disciplines going in one session. We had a mixed doubles game, we had a men's game, a women's game. It was terrific. Okay, on the yellow, heel. Yeah. All three Olympic disciplines. You. I won't say it, but you can read it. <laughs> yeah, very solid game from Emma. Good. <laughs> she wants to move all stones. Okay, I think she touched every stone. That's pretty impressive. I missed your line call on the first one. Could have, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Let's watch this. There's one stone hit, two stones hit, three stones hit, four stones hit. Can I touch that back one too? Yep. The pinball wizard. <laughs> Great shot. And I think with a new event like this, players were slightly yep, wary yep, about okay. how it would run and operate. And the feedback yep, has been fantastic. Okay. They've all thoroughly okay. enjoyed the format, okay. the rule okay. changes. Okay. So it's been a great success. Okay. 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 Sweden lying too, but they are behind the T line. They are trying to protect it here. Covers one of them. Okay. So here's a situation, Rona. Maybe they're playing the scoreboard a bit. Three, three, one up. Maybe if the game was tighter, they might play to those back stones. But it looks like they're going to try to run through the front stone. Yes. It is a case of playing the scoreboard. No, no. And a miscue. On the giant screen here in the Sujo Olympic Sports Center. Clears the front. Yep, big jumbotron's been very useful <laughs> for players to be looking at situations <laughs> and angles. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Players often taking cheeky peeks at the <laughs> video board. Uh. So Sweden know that these stones aren't good enough to steal the end. They also be a little bit wary if they leave it a couple feet short of the rings that Rachel Holman might just switch gears and have to come around freeze. I mean, if Rachel did freeze that perfectly, there would be room for Sweden to freeze her. They could follow it, that's true. But she knows that if, if her last stone she's going to guard, then the button is open for Canada to go. So whether first she wants to try and force an error out of Rachel, whether it be a jam or... Get the sense that Sweden know that maximum acceptable for them. They have to force Canada to one. They really don't want to drop a pair here. Sweden's end time clock. Plenty of time. Two stones to come. Yeah, so eight foot's pretty good here. Nine percent for Anna Tough day by her high standards. Rotation on this. It's a pretty useful spot. Full eight foot on the second line. I wanted it to draw maybe another stone but it didn't want to sweep it because of the distance. So it does give Canada the opportunity now to hit this double. Uh, 
Uh, no. How much weight? Heal. How's this gonna run? Shouldn't move. Okay, how are you throwing it? Just throw. Okay. I like listening, and it's always the same sequence of four questions every time Rachel gets into the hack. hit. Kill the two stones in the back of the forefoot. Big weight. Lots of rotation as well. Makes the double, but she does spill, so that gives Hasselborg a bit of a chance. She could duck around, she could tap up. A few options here now for Sweden. I had to cinch the broom in if I wanted to release it. And you see Courtney and Weagle just watching this one, waiting for it to curl. Big weight and the big rotation. Make it over there. Helicoptered those stones out of the rings. So I know just want to come round. The yellow that's in the eight foot. Even if she doesn't completely bury and just show part of the stone, it's then a teaser for Rachel to either go follow and go for the shot or lift the double. Four foot right behind the front stone. Nice shot there from Anna Hasselport. That will guarantee the force. Look at the focus of Anna Hasselport. Perfect line, she says, and it is. You mentioned stone positioning, Rona, and by leaving it. In a straight line nice like that, it means there's no chance for Canada to blank. I got time. Yep. 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 Jams and it spills, but it's a double takeout for Rachel Holman. Nice shot by the Canadian skip. Nolan Thiessen likes it. The crowd likes it. Rachel likes it. I'm sure the fans in Canada like it too. Let's have another look. One and two. There they go. And Canada scores one. Terrific shot by Rachel Holman. Canada leads it now by a score of four to one. The one lead, not quite home and hosed yet, but in a pretty nice position after that. Great double takeout by Rachel Holman to score one in the previous end. Rock rule. It's been played a fair amount in the Grand Slam events, so the players are reasonably familiar with it. But it's interesting watching the team with the lead how they sequence their stones. You know, the team with hammer is going to throw guards, but what does the team without hammer do? Just bite, not a pocket. Just bite. Yeah, that, that's very dependent on what the scoreboard is, I think, as well. Two stones in the rings for the Canadians. If you're only one or two up in the scoreboard, it's a big difference to being four or five. <laughs> so uh, stones can be your enemy at points. So 
Sophie yeah, Mavrix. Trying to throw that second corner guard. Comes to rest about five feet short of the rings. I don't think it's any better than it was. So same weight as last time, I think. Yeah. Also means the second players are playing a lot more draws with their first one, whereas normally they would probably be clearing. That's true. So skill set for them Five, changes six. slightly. Five, six. Wait, rewrite the job description. Five. <laughs> Just vary yep, their training. A lot more touch Five, shots six, like please. this. Hardly. Go, yep, yep, yep. All you got. Half around. Yeah. 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 For the roll. Yep, yep. No roll though. Okay. Okay. And she leaves the Canadian stone behind it in shot rock position. Yeah. Well, I think we're trying for them to use that now. I don't mind this one. Well, they'll make this double. They're grouped. Is it easier to peel that one? Okay. Okay. Curling side. Yeah. Some good input there from Emma, yep. helping Rachel kind of think through the options, and they've settled on the lowest risk sensible option, which is clear this guard. Big weight from Joanne Courtney. Vaporizes the corner guard. Maybe Chance here for Nuckenhauer to make a play on these front stones. Still second player. Yeah, you're three down in the scoreboard. It's going to get an opportunity to draw around, try and force an error. Just another guard. Yep. Rachel Holman says that's a dangerous rock. And also tactics will be dependent on how your team are playing and what the ice conditions are. That's true. Normal. Some days Normal. You just have to take yeah. what the ice will give you. Ice conditions here are pretty good. It's a temporary ice pad and it's been very warm and humid here in Suzhou, but Hans Woodford, Mark Cowan and the rest of the ice crew have done a really good job this week. Then promote the okay. Swedish stone into the Canadian stone. Mm. Light Actually, <laughs> that's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad result out of it. Uh, yeah. Tony. We can hide. Uh, they have to the box. We'll have no identity at the noise. You know, we can get the other. Yeah. Why are you doing all the work in so far? Yeah. You know, you know, you know, the thing it's is, that red run. is short, oh, and Sweden are going to have to move it if they want to score. Yeah. Mm, the question is, how long can you wait? Yes. Yes. Did the mixed doubles final earlier today. Mixed doubles, you've only got five rocks to make your move, but team curling, you've got eight, so 
Sweden's going to leave that front stone alone for now and make a play around the corner guard. Sarah McManus. Nice shot. Okay. Comes all the way out the other side. That long yeah. corner guard, tough Can to hide behind it. It is, and okay. that's where that positioning of the guards, it just, they or need no. to be closer to the I house can, to be able to bury around them. I don't want to play it too cute to the guard. Yeah. Okay, up normal. Okay. Extra in the wings. Yeah. So this is normally I'm one of these situations for Ronda where sure. you kind of don't down. mind if you hit the guard or you make the stone in the house, but I think Rachel's saying to Emma, this isn't one of those situations. We need to make sure we get to the stone in the rings. Yep, yep. You can see the whole stone whoa. from the hack. Yep, keep yep. it there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good. Good. Good shot. Rolls Good it up. away. Nice shot by Emma Miskew. Nice Jag gillar också att dela på raka handen. Skulle vi dela på den då så är det okej. Okej. Jag tror vi lär spela hack, Sara. Ja. Jag tror att det går lite lättare här, så jag tror inte vi behöver över... Nej, bara lite till. Alltså en me två meter till. Ja. Meter till. I thought I heard Anna say hack. Wait, we'll see what Sarah McManus throws here. Just trying to get a bit of separation, a bit of an opening, and a path to the shot rock, perhaps. Bra punch! Yeah, just try and... Blut the yellow. Further behind. Oh, oh, the shooter across oh, gives some separation oh, oh, oh. between the yellows. Oh, the two. Oh, that's a nice shot. A wee bit more running on the shooter to get it over behind the corner would have been very nice. The best result, <laughs> but a very good effort. Just leaves. Rachel Holman, the opportunity now to catch this yeah, off center and roll over, yeah. lift the double, yes. and lie you don't like too guarded. I think we've seen this race. We haven't seen this one. Okay. I like that. And that's where the shot was good. The split, but it splits always a very difficult Ready shot to, to get both stones exactly where quarter. you want them to be. Right. She was so close to being perfect. Uh, a little thin, Just a like bit a more running on that top stone. Okay. Then half, I think you still catch it. About four feet between Pretty the far. Swedish stones. Got to get one to go. Okay. Straight here. Makeable double here for Rachel Holman. Up three. She'll be thinking safety first. Make sure she gets one of them. Yeah. Hard. Keep going, keep going. No double takeout, but she gets some contact. Leaves Sweden lines line second shot. And Forgot it tracks at the end. <laughs> Forgot it tracks at the end. Red one spins high. A bit of a chance now for Sweden to get the two they so desperately need. So I just want to tap this redstone back and roll over. Keep her shooter in play. Jag tror att vi kan, alltså, om vi behöver Karlen kommer vi kunna äka upp den, så vi har råd med den ja. till. Ja. Vi tror mer is, den Anna! Vi tror mer is! No real chance of the inside roll here. Så. Gillar du det, Sofia? Ja. Så vad skulle ni göra? Att de är på tio, alltså så här, det är inga fel på tio. Ja, as long as she's lying second shot. Det känns okej att slida, det är trakt där borta, men just sätter vi lite ner. Key shot here for Anna Hasselborg. Yep! 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 Yep!
Oh, yes, and no wing. <laughs> Great sweep from Nuckenhauer and Roberts holding the line. They jumped that one right out of hand. Didn't quite get the separation roll they were looking for, but they are lying too. Have a look at the brushing. And I wanted to call them off, but the sweepers never left it. And they were right. Stone made a big move late just by the guard. And how much can Rachel see of it? She can't see the inside edge. True. No double takeout. So the two very much alive for Sweden. Quite happy to hit and run. Yep, peels it out. So, Anna Hasselborg needs full eight foot to score two and get Sweden right back in this game. Okay. Sweden down to nine seconds on their time clock, but this one's away. The clock stops, no problem. And I think she's got a lot. This one, sweepers aren't brushing it at all yet. No, sweepers starting well, but... Hoping beyond in. hope that it'll stop. <laughs> oh, no problem there. Right to the T line. Cold for Anna Hasselborg, and it's a two point end for Sweden. Sweden are right back in this women's final at the Curling World Cup. Anna Hasselborg draws for two. It's Canada four, Sweden three after six. Uh, okay. oh, game. So does Rachel go for kill the game here? With the hammer, or does she try oh, to blind oh, and go into oh, the last end, one up with the hammer? Can't, can't, never. Never. to us as never. Team Canada was huddling up okay. between ends that they were thinking about playing for a deuce, and Lisa Weagle, with her trademark namesake okay. shot, pushes good. that guard into the rings. She is so good at the tick shot that many people just call it the Weagle. You're right. Canada's thinking, gosh, we get forced one here. Normally you're not too concerned in that situation. You know, your opponent's got hammer down two, and think, fine. Try for the force, but if they score two, we've got the hammer in the extra end. But here at Curling World Cup, all of a sudden that would put you into a one rock shootout. It changes everything. <laughs> oh, a mistake there from Sweden. Oh dear. Needed the guard, but it's on the rings. Nope. No guard zone protection. Curling side. Control. Okay. Yeah, even if you just pick it out, that's good. Marburg's at 81% for the game. Bit of an edge over Lisa Weagle, but a miss there yeah. could be costly. Hold it, Joe. Oh. Nose hit. Canadians, a bit more control of the m scoring zone area. It's going to be one interesting seventh end. Canada with the hammer. Mabergs on the brushes. Oh, very nicely played. Very nicely played. Nice shot. Oh, 
Okay. Perfect line, perfect weight. Can't ask for much more that? than that. Why not just throw more like normal if we do this? Yeah, I just don't want to just Let's miss see. it and leave nice two guards. I don't mind this right now. Both the second players. Joanne Courtney, 85%. Maggie Schnockenhauer, 88%. You see that stone perfectly buried. Yep, great position so that if Canada keep peeling, Sweden keep guarding. Courtney throwing clear and weight. It's really close. <gasps> oh, just <laughs> good throw. Nice by. A little puff of smoke, a spark. That oh, stone went by the stone just in front of the rings. Survives. Sweden lying too. I'd like quite a long guard here. Just to get a bit of distance between the guards. So in Canada, it's harder to double peel. Or bringing the sweepers on the line right away. She thinks it's maybe a bit narrow. And this one is really moving. So they're going to leave it as high as they possibly can. But this one is curling off the center line. Same thing. Same thing. Same I wonder how you should lay the same. I wonder play more ice and so. Again, going to try the double clear. Hard. Hard. Kills one. It's a bit of action on the corner guard. Oh, and picks off the stone on the wing as well. It's a Good bonus call. for Team Canada. Manus now will be asked to replace that guard. Good looking line. Nice shot. You. They're on this one right away. Clean. Clean. Oh, no Six drama. Sweden oh, were to steal this end. Canada wouldn't actually be overly concerned. Exactly. I was just about to say that would be just like an extra end. <laughs> Eighth end with the hammer. Even. Having that control of the hammer at the last oh. end that really is key. So whether they win up or peels, they've still got that last stone advantage. Yeah, leave it closer. We're still pretty far apart. Yeah, really nice line good. positioning, though, okay. by Sweden on those guards. The roll off the Look guard at them is lined like up. Pretty active. We could try. Same piece is probably close. Okay. Peel. Yeah. Okay. You're right, Rona. A little closer together, so they are hunting the double clear. Emma Miskew, 96%. What a great <laughs> game. Sarah McManus, 85. They're being outplayed. Yay! <laughs> That's tough. Double clear. Good. Nice shot by Emma Miskew. Nice. Uh, Trying to get something going. Yeah, yeah. Threw it a little too aggressively. Oh, good shot. Not fully like that here, but some of the parts are more with soap mold. 
Nej. Där kryper in någon här. Jag undrar om Anna Hasselborg kan vara tänkande. Helgarda där, eller? Det är faktiskt bättre om vi förstår dem. Kom hem. Två down. Med en hammer. Skåra en par. Gå till en skjutout. Det kan vara en bättre situation. Absolut. But with the five rock rule, is she thinking, well, if I steal here, I steal me? Steal again. Do it once, do it twice, win the game. Absolutely. So many permutations. Swedish is good enough to know that flats means room, so they've got a lot of room on this one, a lot of line. Waiting for it to curl. Very nice. Great guard. Canada's Rachel Homan making her way to the hack to for her first shot in the seventh end. Canada leading yeah. it four to three. It's the women's final. The Early touch World last Cup. time so I can release it. Like number yeah. one. Just clips the top. Okay, does the job. Now in a house of board. Much, Where do you put this one? Again, it's what we were saying about her preference. You know, does she want a second counter in and have Rachel Holman facing two? But if you bring it in, you may leave a double. Lots of options. Rachel Holman with a bit of an edge in shooting percentage. Hasselborg, though, has been lifting her game in the second half. This one's over curling. Yes, they don't want to sweep it at all. Wishing it oh. stops, but just over curls. Rachel Holman says, thank you very much. I'm just going to peel this one out. There you see two thirds of it, just over half actually available for Rachel Holman. Over curled half a rock. Same as my last. A little less aggressive. This to keep the hammer into the eighth and final end. Problem either. Perfect blank by Canada's Rachel Homan. Canada blank seven. They keep the hammer for the eight. Canada leading it 4 3, and they will have the hammer coming home. Thend, and it will be the final end of the women's final at Curling World Cup. Sujo, first leg. Or are they going to get this one across? Has to be completely across the hog line to stay in play and just. Well, no, that's your long guard. Yeah. <laughs> cross. Won't get cross much longer. Uh, you're going to need more. 
Maverick. 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 Maverick
Sarah McManus. Coming in right now, Rona. This has to be the winning shot. It's got to be touching the button. Just didn't finish. Oh, nice wait, but they were hoping for some cover behind that stone in the top 12. Yeah. Wait, why she couldn't have thrown it much better. It's not quite a corner hidden. And a miscue. Getting interested. Green. No. Okay, that's good. Had to wait for that one a while, but it got the job done. So McManus is going to try again. It's come right in. She knows the line, knows the weight, just played it. saying you play it, I'll just guard it <laughs> for the rest of the end. <laughs> you make the tough one, I'll protect it. No extension on the release there from Sarah McManus. This one's got more weight. It's going to go well deep in the house. But they're interested in the cover. Look how much it stopped. Really ground in there, right down the slide path. Stays in the back forefoot, half buried. That's a pretty good shot. buried. Quieter yeah, 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 yeah. weight on yeah, this one. Yeah. It's quiet. It is. The weight's down. Is it going to hold straight? Fire. Courtney trying to hold it. Fire. Really leaning fire. on her. Bye. Fire. Yes. Great sweeping by Joanne Courtney to hold that inside line. Emma Miskew. Great sweep. Moments of terror. Wasn't that light on your hand? Great sweep. Thanks oh, for that. Absolutely. More? Drinks are on me, says Emma. Look at this. Weagle throw, Courtney huh? holding the line. Just getting it by. Look at the effort. Maximum. Fantastic brushing by Weigel and Courtney. Look how close that came to disaster. Wow. That's the kind of thing that wins championships. And it did move slightly to the left. So this freeze now from Anna Hasselberg. If she makes a perfect freeze to lie short, it's not behind cover. So Rachel oh, will be able to have a blast at it. It's true, she's got a saver on the top 12, not that she needs it. She's one up. Just has to remove the Swedish stone. Three stones to come in this game. After this stone is being delivered by Anna Hasselberg. Canada with the hammer. First skip stone. Skippers are saying it's got plenty of weight. It's not how quickly McManus' stone dropped down. And good line picks it back, but it does leave a gap. This is rough. My first one, I was surprised it took that long to come back. We can quarter on it then. Back. Tricky yeah. angle for Holman. Anything high, it's gone. Emma was careful for both areas and it still took a while to come back. 
Has to navigate past the stone in the front 12 foot, and there's that other one up here as well, just half across the hog line. It stays in play because it hit a stone that was in play, even though it's not all the way across the hog line. Big weight here from Rachel Holman. Lots of rotation. Yes, indeed. Clean, clean. Oh, they were, I think she was actually hoping that she would pick her own stone off the back of the forefoot. But I just have to draw, guys. Job one done. Okay. We just have to yeah, draw. now the problem think? with Anna Hasselberg having tapped that back to freeze it. Rachel can just follow her and freeze to get the shot. So now, do you draw around the guard to be completely buried and lie short? But you've not got a lot of room to play with. Exactly, it finishes so hard to be worried that it would overcurl and take you out of the forefoot and it'd be game over. So you have to be shot first. Great look at it there. She could get around that top stone on the 12 foot, full four foot. Potentially move Rachel home in a really tough shot. But then Rachel could just draw and freeze her own. She could. And get shot. She could. Here we go. Also got to weigh up, it's been a few eggs since Rachel's played a draw. Well, this one has to be in shot rock position, otherwise this one's over. Well, it is in shot rock position. Sweden lies one, so Rachel Holman has to throw the last for the win. But she has the comfort that she can just nick it out. That's true. Lindholm and Deason looking on from the bench. Half buried. Very similar shot to the first stone delivered by Rachel Homan. So it should be a familiar path to her. But by no means easy. She can only see half. This shot Looks like max for ice. the win. I think it's pretty close. Yeah, right we can to hold it. Yeah. The first ever Curling World Cup yeah. leg winners in the women's a event. Yeah, I'll and do it. Watch on that. Only watch. Rachel Homan with the hammer. Quieter weight than her first oh. one. She's playing down weight. Oh, oh. Some real concern in the voice of Emma Miskew. Are they by? Yes, they are. Great shot, Rachel Holm in Canada are your winners. Moment of real panic there for Team Canada. Emma Miskew hollering for the sweep. Joanne Courtney, Lisa Weagle down with the brushes. They get it by. And Rachel Holman, Team Canada, are the women's champions of curling World Cup Suzhou. Final score, Canada 7, Sweden 3. Tournament winning stone of Rachel Holman. Joanne Courtney holding the line, getting it by the top stone, picking it out, and Canada are our winners here in Suzhou. Rachel Homan, another victory in China for Team Homan, world champions in Beijing a couple of years ago and leg winners of the first leg of curling World Cup here in Suzhou. So here we are on Championship Sunday, two games in the bank, mixed doubles final, Canada, Kirk Myers, Laura Walker, the champions, and the women's final now complete. Rachel Homan of Canada, Canada winning again in the women's final. They're the women's champions. Men's final yet to come, Norway versus Canada. That'll complete the first leg of Curling World Cup.
Rachel, many congratulations. First World Cup women's gold medalist. How does that feel? It's really exciting. Uh, first event of the year and really proud of my teammates. Um, that was a grind. Uh, both teams played so well and his team was, was phenomenal right to the end and had to make a, a tough one at the end. Great line call and uh, great sweeping. So just really proud of my team. You think that steal at the third end of your great tap and flop, was that the turning point for you in the game? Yeah, I mean, we could have lost um, control there had we not made that, but um, there was uh, quite a few key shots in that game that we had to make, and we did, so uh, it was a good kind of all-around good good game for our team. And for a new event, what are your thoughts on this format this week? It's different. Um, it's kind of cool, I think, playing the same team twice um, within your pool. Um, it's definitely a different format, and we had fun with that. And um, only two teams making it forward makes it uh, pretty cutthroat. You can't really lose too many games and um, definitely keeps on your toes. We had a great time. So off to the finals in Beijing in May. That's a great reward. Absolutely. We're excited. We, that was our goal coming in here is to try and qualify. This is the only World Cup we'll be able to go to this year. So kind of had to make it to, uh, to go through. So thankfully we were able to do that. Oh, congratulations again. Thank you. So a clearly delighted Canadian skip Rachel Homan. Our champions here in Suzhou, Rona, quite an impressive performance. It really was. A lot of key shots played in that game by both teams. Um, so yeah, very delighted Canadian team. And Anna Hasselborg and Team Sweden played them tough, but uh, Rachel Homan came up with the big shots at the right time just to just to get that edge. She did, and I think that steal in the third end definitely, you know, turned the game around. It gave them a 3-0 lead, and uh, it was hard. You know, Team Sweden fought back as hard as they could and made her play her last stone of the game. And it was a tough shot. She could only see half. Yes. Great sweeping by Courtney and Weigel holding it. Great line read by Emma Miskew, and uh, she pulled it off for the win. So now let's go to the victory ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, the victory ceremony of the 2018-2019 Curling World Cup Suzhou Women's Event. 女士们、先生们，世界互联冰壶世界杯苏州站女子冰壶颁奖仪式现在开始。medals will be presented by Mr. Bent Ramsfell, Vice President, World Curling Federation. 为运动员颁发奖牌的是世界冰壶联合会副主席本特·莱姆斯杰尔先生. Accompanied by Mr. Yin Weidong, Chairman of the Board, Suzhou New Era Culture Sports and Expo Group Company Limited. 为运动员颁发鲜花的是苏州西时代文体会展集团董事长殷卫东先生. Gold medalist and curling World Cup Suzhou winner, Team Homan from Canada. Lisa Weagle. Joanne Courtney. Emma Miskew. Rachel Holman. Coach Nolan Thiessen.
Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of Canada. 女士们、先生们，请起立，奏加拿大国歌。Ladies and gentlemen, the curling World Cup Sujo winners. 女士们、先生们，让我们向获奖运动员致敬，并表示热烈的祝贺。Team Rachel Holman, fourth end action from this women's final. Sweden's Anna Hasselborg. Trying a raise split, trying to score two here, but she knows it. It's only a single point. But Sweden are on the board. In the fifth end, Sweden lying two. Canada's Rachel Homan trying to double them off, and she makes it perfect. Canada scores one. In the sixth, Sweden already lying one. Anna Hasselborg with a critical draw for two. Needs to full eight foot. No problem there for the Olympic champion. Sweden scores two, putting them right back in the game. In the eighth, then Sweden lying one, half buried. Tricky final shot for Canada's Rachel Holman with the tournament on the line. Joanne Courtney, Lisa Weigel on the brushes, get it by the guard. There it goes, Rachel Holman and her teammates, Team Canada, are the women's champions, seven to three winners, the Curling World Cup. Includes the victory ceremony here in Suzhou. So long from Curling World Cup.